Charlie fights our fight. <laughs> Over, so. Ooh, child. These lights are hella bright. Like for real. Oh. Nope, I still have a hello. Alright. Let's take some makeup off. So today. I use the Jaclyn Hill palette. And so I'm not gonna say much about it right the second only because y'all gonna have to wait for the video. But I wanna take my makeup off, so. Because I have a lot of it on. And it's late, so. Alrighty, so. I've been last my last live I had showed you guys that I was using these um these little like they're really little soft little I don't even know the call like what are they called wipes silken wipes they're two by two but they open by four by four so this is how big it opens up. Can't even open them. See? They open like this, but they're folded in by two by two. And these things are so soft on the face. I got this, I can't even remember. I saw it on YouTube. Somebody was recommending this. Um, and you get them for from Amazon and they're four dollars. Four dollars. And they're called Instrinxing Natural. They're by Petite Petite. It strings. Ugh. Yeah, in string six natural. It's a 200 count soft fiber blend. So yeah, they're really, really soft and I love them. So I'm using them to take off my makeup or, you know, just for the first layer anyway, because you, you all know I double cleanse. So, and then somebody's on here, but I don't know who. And then I'm going to use my Colleen Cosmetics with aloe vera to take off the first layer. So I'm not doing much talking right now because there's nobody here yet, but that's okay. You guys always catch the replay. So what I love about these is that it doesn't like soak up the product. So you could actually use less, you know what I'm saying, than a regular puff. So gross. And I got a lot. I got a full face on. I got powder on. I got. Ooh. I got concealer. I got the whole night on. Oh. So gross. Uh, I'm just going to flip it over. Oh, this AVH lipstick is tearing my lips up. Oh, that feels good to take that off. That liquid lippy is. Everybody must be out tonight. Ain't nobody on here. That's okay. I'm still going to go through it. Okay. So, oof, ugh, and ugh. Grab another one. A little more. And then I'll use another one. So, I'll probably use in total about four of these pads. I mean, because they are small. And I could probably use less, but but the eyes, I mean, I have a lot of makeup on today. So I have a lot of makeup on the eyes. So I'm just trying to get that first layer off my face. And this Marcella water works so good, as you guys can see. <sighs> so get all of this crud off. 
And I, as I said before, like this Marcello water, I've used it <laughs> where I was really tired and I didn't wash my face, which I never hardly do. Hey, Christine. Yeah. My heater is on because it's like cold, hot, I mean cold. And it felt like I didn't even, you know what I'm saying, have anything on because of, uh, because this doesn't leave a film on your skin. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, I love these things. I absolutely love them. And I'll, I, I won't buy pads again. I, though these are four bucks, they last. And so I've used two. So now we're gonna go into I doubt. Typically I would only use two of these, but I don't know, we'll see what happens because I got a lot of eye makeup on right now. I think everybody's out partying or something. Or out to dinner this Saturday night. Ooh. Look at that. Oh. See, I put too much of the uh, Marcella water on the liquid because it's like super liquidy. As I said, these pads are excellent because you could use less product. And it saves money, especially on those expensive serums. Okay. Oh my. Hey, Lisa. I didn't see you come in. Oh, thank you. I used the Jaclyn Hill uh, Times Morphe palette today. I filmed with it. So you're actually getting kind of what it looks like. But, you know, when I came on this live, I had already taken off, like, my lashes and stuff like that. So, but I don't want to say too much about the palette until you guys see the video. So, but I will show you the palette. Okay, so I'm going to use my last one. So I did use four because that was a lot of eye makeup. Like, I had it packed on, trust me. Typically, what you should do is really just go, like, do one of these numbers, let it break down. But I didn't do that on the other eye, so don't judge me. But typically, you know, it just helps to remove. Oh my! And I said in my video that I filmed today that I bet because the shadow was so pigmented that I used that it would it will probably stain my eye and look at this purple it is like on there hardcore my uh see my uh comments aren't pulling up i have to like touch the phone look at that eye is stained i know I'm going to use one more pad just to get some of that excess off. It's really, it's it's pretty stained. Hey, MZ. How are you? V. Everybody, I'm telling you, like, everybody must be out with their husbands or out with kids or out because there is nobody here tonight. But that's okay. I got you guys. Everybody will catch the replay. Oh, serious? You got lashes? Okay, so Lisa, how long are they supposed to last? Like how long? I've never gotten lash extensions. I am just a throw on strip girl with, you know what I mean? With lashes, so. That's all that matters, Christine. I know that's right. I just wanted to get on here. I'm like, let me go live because I didn't post. I did post a video this week, but I didn't. Usually I post twice a week. So because I didn't post, I'm like, let me go live. But you guys know I typically do a live at least once a week. I didn't do a car rant this week. It was crazy. Um, And so I was like, let me do a live tonight. You know, but I never, I usually don't do lives on Saturday night. 
uh, because people tend to be, you know, on on the weekday for some reason in, in the evening. But I hope that's like, I don't care. I'm going to go on anyway. Okay. So this is nothing but water. So I'm going to spray this and then I'm going to use some of this Olic Hendrix cleanser real quick. But I'm spraying this on my face because it's water. It ain't nothing but water. It's supposed to be some fancy thermal spring water, soothing, softens for sensitive skin. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, me too. I'm a floss lash too. But I mean, I would love to try. I mean, it's not, I'm not opposed to getting extensions though. I just never done it. I know my daughter has in the past. Um, but she does her own single eyelashes. I can't do that. I mean, I tried it and it just don't come out the best. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. <sighs> when I did it, but I'm not used to doing it. If I practiced and I kept on trying to do it, I'm sure I can, you know what I mean? I could learn anything, you know, but yeah, I'm just, I just haven't done it more water. I already got a cloth here. Oh, guys, do, I mean, does am I crazy or does when you have a load of makeup on and you wash your face, is it not the best thing? It's like the best feeling ever. It's almost almost like taking off your bra. Let's not let's not go crazy. Almost like taking off your bra. Taking off your bra is just something else. <laughs> You do, this is the first one I had of these thermal waters. And I, I got it in a bossy charm probably. And I keep it on my vanity uh, cause I'll use it for like something like this or just to, you know, after I powder and stuff or if I wanna wet my beauty sponge or, or uh, my brush. It's convenient to have water in a spray bottle you know what i'm saying instead of using my setting spray but i would never i don't think i would ever buy it though you know what i mean because i'm like in my mind it's water in a can that spring water in a can i don't know in my mind i'm like you know when you get that black gel liner in your eye when you put it in your water line it is like Trying to get that out is something else. And I hate, you know, I don't like to like pull or tug at my eye too much, you know? And then I use the House of Lashes glue. And, oh, really? I mean, what other brand, where do you get them from? I mean, because I only got that at a BoxyCharm, so I don't even know where to look. I mean, they sell that like in Walgreens or something? Like spray canned water in the beauty section? I know that's right. Yeah, I love, I mean, I had a good time today filming this look. You know, I really did. And especially because I felt like I haven't filmed in a while because I have been doing lives. Um, and I have some things in the bank, but in terms of, I'm going to look for them, Christine, because they are convenient when I'm sitting here in my vanity and I need it to wet a beauty sponge or something. So I don't have to get up to go to the bathroom for water. So it is convenient. That's why I have it sitting right here. But yeah, I, I never knew that they sold this in like, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to do the most with my skincare tonight because I was actually going to sit here and put makeup on again. But basically what I was trying to do was show you what I was, uh, the type of makeup that I've been doing for work. So it's not like totally full glam. So I'm just going to go on my Pond's Cold Cream Moisturizer. This is my Ride or Die Drugstore Moisturizer. Old school from back in the day. I grew up on it and stuff my mother used it and it is a really great moisturizer for dry skin it really is 
especially I use it a lot in the summer if like when I'm tanning or if I'm outside in the sun and my face feels really dry from the sun, I'll do this and wear it at night and put it on at night um, to give my skin back that hydration that I lost because of sitting in the sun. I look so washed out. These lights are so bright in here. I might have to like, next time I go live or something, like unscrew one of the bulbs <laughs> because light is like super, super bright. <sighs> mm. Okay. Oh, that felt good. Only to put back on some makeup, but that's okay because I want to show you guys what I've been doing. Simple, super simple makeup when I've been going to work. What y'all got going on tonight, though? You guys just chilling in the house? What? Are you guys going to be going out? Any of you guys going to go out? I've been watching. You know what I've been watching on today? Binging on all of the family and the Jeffersons. <laughs> Archie Bunker is off the chain. Oh, it's most e Evian. Dana, I'm telling you, my my skin in the, in the winter time is crocodile, like no joke. I just might need some chapstick. I don't know. This is like a mask, but this is all I got right here. My other chapstick is. I don't feel like getting up. Okay, I gotta go look at this water thrill. Oh, you're doing your nails? Okay. Like, do you do your own, like, acrylic type, or are you just painting your nails? Are you just, like, painting them? Okay. See, now I'm getting warm. I had to turn, on, turn off the heater. Because it, listen, let me tell you something. The weather in Georgia is menopausal. Last week it was warm. I, I was hot. And now this week it's freezing. It's like 28 degrees. It's going to be like 25 degrees tonight. Um, oh, you do your own gel. All right, girl. I can't do my own nails. I don't know how. And even when I just regular polish them, they're all down here. It's, it's, it's just a mess. And so anyway, yeah, so the weather has been very temperamental and hence why my skin has been acting super finicky because, you know, I have been traveling before and then just the weather being so temperamental here in Georgia, it weighs heavy on my skin. You know what I'm saying? It's like the, the extreme temperature changes is just got my skin acting super crazy. And I, that's, that's one of the things that I hate. I just need the weather to be consistent. So I have this Melt Cosmetics stack right here that I got before the holidays. And because um, you guys know I'm on a no buy a palette. And the reason why I got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Times 2 palette is because Lou bought it for me. My good friend Lou bought it for me. But I want to try. Look at this blue. Like, oh, I want to try these. And I, I put them on top because I had them in my drawer kind of where, you know, my backup, all my makeup is. Look at that brown. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put it right here because I have to dig into that for sure. Oh, thanks, Dana. I'm like, you guys got me thinking about this water. Like, I'm, I keep on it. Is this the one y'all got? Did, do they sell this in the drugstore? I mean, because this is what I got in BoxyCharm. It just says a thermal spring water. Like, is this literally legit just spring water? Let me look at the daggone ingredients. It just says water. Nitrogen. It just says water. I wonder how much this really tells for. How much, is, how much are the ones that you get, Christine? Like, what is the price range of them? Because you better not tell me, like, no $15, 20 for no daggone water because I ain't got no time for that. Because that's just disrespectful. Okay, so, boom. What I've been doing 
for work is simple. I don't even do the Instagram. Like when I just came on this live, y'all seen I had on the Instagram eyebrows, okay? Mm -mm, I'm not doing Instagram eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I hear, oh, you know what? Let me tell you, I remember my big toe. My big toe got fungus or something happened where damn near half the nail came off from the bed of the skin. And you know, when you have issues, like when your toenail, any nail really, but especially your toenail, it takes almost like six months to a year to heal. It takes a long time. And so I had gotten to the habit where I bring my own um, kit. Okay, so $5 or less. Okay, I could do that. I could do that. Okay, so first one I'm going to go in. This is a mixture. I'm going to tell you guys what I've been doing. Uh, do I have it? Yes, I have it. Okay, so you guys know I love the Gerard Cosmetics BB Cream, right? I'm trying to find it. Where would I have put the BB Cream? So I rearranged my drawer, my, I just did my Alex drawers and stuff and rearranged stuff. And I don't know where I put the BB cream. Oh, here it is. Okay, so the BB cream, right? This is so concentrated. I think everybody knows this. This is a very concentrated um, product here. And so a little will go a long way. <laughs> oh my you should have saw my daughters over the summertime when I was at my one of my daughter's house for a cookout I had my spray but it wasn't water but just like this spray of mist to refresh me and she was like you're so bougie so what I do this pond's cold cream right this jar I put some pond's cold cream in here right and then I put my BB in here and I made my own concoction because that's how I usually use the BB cream. I usually uh, take my moisturizer. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Pond's. And I put a dot in it before I do my makeup and I spread it all over my face for an inner glow. And A, I also, and B rather, I also use it as a primer. You can use it as a primer. So I was like, I am tired of doing, having, taking this out and taking this out. So I got me a little travel thing, put some pods in here, and I put as much as I, you know, desired um, of the BB cream, and I mixed it up, and boom, here you go. So, yes, sometimes Marlo comes through with the ideas, okay? So I'm going to use this, and this one I have is Grace. But I have Dorothy, I have um, Dorothy, Grace, and Sophia. Sophia is my number one jam. But this I made, this is Grace, which mixed in with the moisturizer perfectly. And then there you have it. It's just as easy as that. And I'm telling you, this is what I will use as a, look, uh, with the glow and acts as a primer. So, mm, get that on the face. I got my mirror right behind this camera so I can see. You see that glow right away? But it's it's very, like if I would have used that straight up the BB cream, it would have been like packed on. Yeah. I mean, it's so concentrated. And so there we have that. I love it. I just love using this. It's like my favorite thing to use. You know what I mean? If I want more of a matte finish, I will still go in with maybe a matting uh, primer on top um especially like right here that's where I usually like to look matte and like right there um because my pores are just out of control so I got washcloths here I got all here I am just so prepared because I'm like I don't want to get up and I'm a neat freak so I like put everything back in its place okay Yes, this is an adult beverage. Michelle, you made it. Oh my goodness. Happy Saturday. Okay, so you guys know who've been watching me for a while. You guys know that I have my favorites, okay? I'm not that much. I don't have that much uh, drugstore product um, like foundations, but my number one today, 
I know, Michelle, I think everybody, because usually there are a lot more people on my lives, but I think people are just busy, but I'm so glad that you were able to hear. So everybody knows my favorite current drugstore foundation is this Born to Glow. Yes, Christine, what I told you is that I, I made a whole concoction. I got my, I put a moisturizer in here and I put the BB cream in here, not the whole bottle, but I measured it to what I wanted to see in consistency. And now I got my own concoction where I don't have to take off, separate my BB cream, my moisturizer. I got it all in one and I used it all over the face as a primer. So you know what I'm going to do though? I am just going to put a different primer right there. Um... Let's see what primer I'm going to use. I'll use this one right here since it's right here. I'll use the Cover Effects Blurring, Blurring Primer. I'm telling you, I was like, oh my goodness, I done came up with something good because it's just easy and I could go and I could go, you know, just get it and go instead of taking two separate products to blend in. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right here on my... Just right there, because that's where I get, I want to be like more matte, you know, cover up in pores. Oh, yeah. Because in pores, pores be large and in charge. And right there, just a little bit. Okay. So, you guys know I reviewed the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, right? So... Every day I use it, I feel like I'm coming into a new discovery. And that's why I think I'm going to start doing kind of like, not necessarily calling things first impressions, but maybe like using it first for a few days and then doing the application. And I still do love the Wet n Wild uh, Foundation. And I even said in the video that it does not surpass this because the photo focus, the older photo focus went in wow was my one drugstore foundation, point blank in the period. And then I tried this one. I reviewed um, this on Tuesday um, and it was good and it was fine. I just think that I needed it a shade darker. But again, this is my fave. Yeah, just around my nose, I need to be right there. I just need to be matte. You know what I mean? So I'm going to use this. And again, this is what I've been doing for work, guys. This is what I've been doing for work. Just really simple, simple makeup. Okay? Like, for real. Like, I don't just, I'm not even doing the most. Like that, and it's not a lot. I just love this Born to Glow. And, you know, there's a whole conversation that I need to have. I think that I was going to do my rant on my rant about dry skin, uh, makeup performing differently on um, people, mature skin. Um, and one of my points is, and I think I hit on it last week, but I think I'm going to talk about it again because I, I saw this video by the same person again. And I swear to God, I just feel like she's very condescending in talking about um, makeup, dry skin, mature skin, and almost, I feel like she's hating on the younger folks. And at the end of the day, younger people are younger people. You know what I mean? I don't feel that us older women watch like, I don't know who, who's like super young. Um, Jacqueline Hill is, is she super young, right? She's not 30 yet. I don't think, you know what I mean? In any event, the point is what I'm trying to say is like somebody like me, who's, who's wise or any of you that are her skin is not necessarily going to be like, oh my God, I could do my makeup just like her. Like, you know, w w give us a little credit that we're a little bit more intelligent than that. You know what I'm saying? And everything's got to be tailored to your own skin. But I also say that just because I am mature skin, right? Dry skin or whatever, that also doesn't mean that I can't do something that another mature skin, dry skin can't do because not all dry skin, mature skin is created equal. Point blank and period. You know what I mean? Everybody looks different. Everybody has different texture. Uh, some people have, you know, more workable skin than others. Some people don't have problematic skin. So, I mean, it varies and goes on and on and on. 
So no, I do not powder. I, I'm not a baker or anything like that. Um, I just don't need to do, I just choose not to do that. I don't want to say I don't need to do that. Well, no, I don't need to do that actually. But I do powder, you know what I mean? I just do it very lightly. This is the next Born to Glow Foundation, guys. This is what I've been doing for work this past whole week. Just simple, simple makeup. Again, I have I wasn't even doing my Instagram eyebrows at all. Guys, how bright do I look? <laughs> Seriously. This foundation is just bomb, man. Oh, exactly, Michelle. But even with that being said, like just because suppose like, you know, you take a 42-year-old woman, a 142-year-old woman, 142-year-old woman here, and let's say they both got dry skin. Christine, I'm telling you, this is, you got both, both of them got dry skin. They're both 42. This 42-year-old with dry skin may have issues, may have problematic skin, all of that jazz. And this 42-year-old over here may not. She may have skin like a baby's butt and still look like she's 30, 29, okay? So this 42 may not be able to do all the most like some of the younger people and how they apply makeup, but this 42-year-old may be able to do it because even though she's dry, she still doesn't have problematic skin. So all I'm trying to say is stop putting everybody in the box. Oh yeah, that, I never, you know, I've heard about the hourglass for like so long. Hey, Sap, hey, wait a minute. Say blow. I know I'm butchering your name, girl. Forgive me. You know what I mean? But I heard about the hourglass, but I've never tried it. Because you know what happened with the hourglass? Let me tell you, I remember what happened with the hourglass. Okay, I went to Sephora when I think it first came out. And if you're talking about the eyeglass, the stick foundation. So I like, let me see, what stick foundation do I have? Here I, I have this, okay, the Makeup Forever, okay? And so I love this, this stick. I, I really do like it. I don't have many stick foundations, but I have this. I do have some by Colin Cosmetics, but I usually use it as contour and stuff like that. So when I saw that hourglass, right, I went to Sephora and I had looked at the, um, what is it? The amount that came in the container in Hourglass. And Hourglass was more money for less damn product. Okay. And I swatched both of them side by side. And I'm like, okay, they are both a little luminous or whatever or this, that, and the other. But I was not paying. For, no, I was like, no. I was like, that that just disrespectful. I ain't got no time. So that's why I never bought the Hourglass. So I never tried it. So it might be just a great foundation. I don't know, um, but I never tried it, but I heard it was really good for dry skin. Okay, so then the concealer, I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline to fit me, which is almost gone. Oh, the liquid, okay. But they do have a stick though, right? I know they have a stick. So this is just, the, I'm just going to put a little bit. This is the Maybelline. I mean, this is one of my, you know, go-to like drugstore concealers. I also like actually the Wet n Wild one too, to be honest with you. Okay, so I just totally messed up that strip. <laughs> I totally messed up that strip, but that's okay. Because, you know, she going to fix it because that's what she does. Okay. That's what she does. So let's just fix that. <laughs> I put a little too much right there, but that's okay. But you guys are going to be shocked how, like, I go to work like this. Like, I mean, sometimes I'm not on you guys. I do go to work glam. Like, like I will go to work with a full face, but it's okay because she the boss. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to say that to me. <laughs> In fact, my clients expect it. When I, don't, when I go to work without makeup, or with really little makeup, they were like, oh, you didn't do your eyes today. We look forward to looking at your eyes, this, that, and the other. I'm like, yeah, but I just didn't feel like putting on any makeup today. <laughs> They're so funny. Okay, let me catch up with you guys. Who's here? Christy. Hey, Jen, how are you? 
Hope you're doing well. Everything's wonderful in your world. We're just showing people how I do my makeup. When, like, an easy makeup that I do for work. Okay. So now, just like I said, okay, back to that conversation about this YouTuber. And again, I'm not going to mention any names or anything like that. Uh, Cause you know, she don't do drama. <laughs> so um, again, I just feel like I don't put everybody in a box just because you're 45 and there's a 45 year old here and you can't camera saying that you can't do this because you're 42 or for whatever age you, you can't say you can't do this because you're 43 years old and this won't look right because of the younger people are doing it. No, everybody's skin is created differently. You know, every 42 year old with dry skin is not going to be the same. So that's, the, I guess that's really just my home point, guys. You know, let's just be careful about what we're listening to. Be, you know, be mindful and know your own skin, know your own limitations of what you could do. Only you could determine that. If you are a 42 year old woman who could bake the crap out of their eyeballs, do you boo boo if, if, if that's what you could do. I can't do that, but that doesn't mean somebody else my age can't, you know, or can't, you know what I mean? They can, you know, it's just, we all have different textures and some skins are different, you know, at the end of the day, well, all skins are different. I'm trying to look for what I'm trying to, uh, okay. So now I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you guys real quickly because this is a perfect example. I'm going to take my Fenty powder, right? This is in honey. Now you guys saw, I just put on the foundation. I just put on a little bit concealer, right? I opened this up. Look, you see how much look it's like a lot, right? You see this? You see how there's like a little, this is basically all I'm going to use. I'm not even going to dig into this. I, I really got to show you so you guys could see what I'm doing. I'm going to just take this brush here, right? Literally, lit, like, look, look, boop, look, look, that's it. And on top of that, I'm going to go like this on my wrist. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. Because... That's all I need. That's all Marlo needs. If other people need more, then other people need more. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes I do get to go a little bit more ham on the powder, especially when I want a specific look, depending on the foundation and all that stuff. But I just lightly want to set this foundation because this NYX Born and Glow is very glowy, which I love, obviously, because what, well, you know, mature skin women don't want to look glowy. I do just want to tone it down just a bit because it can transfer. And plus, my thing about this is that I want some type of powder on my skin. So when I go in with a bronzer, it don't skip, if that makes sense. And it does for me all the time. So that's all the powder. This thing is going to last me like 10 years. Because <laughs> I don't use much of it. But I like the Fenty um, Honey because it gives me a little color. You know what I'm saying? The honey, it gives a little color uh, back into the skin. And so that's why I really, truly like it. Okay. Now, okay. That looks pretty good. And so all I'm going to do now is bronze and highlight and we'll be done. Like, well, with the face. You know what I mean? That's it. That's the work. That's the work look. That's the work skin. And she and, and, and call it a day. So what are we going to bronze with, though? I, I wish I could, like, I want to take this off. I actually can, actually, to show you what the bronzers I have. So let's do, let's do Give Me Sun by MAC. No, we're not going to do Give Me Sun. Cause that's expensive. I don't like to use my expensive product when I know I'm just gonna like wash my face off. Well, I have no choice. Anyway, we'll use Too Faced cause that's, that's what's there and it's almost, you know. And we'll just bronze the skin just a little bit. Just a little bit. And go the neck a bit. And what I typically do is I, I'm a stamper. I stamp first and then buff. 
get product on your skin and then buff. So anyway, tell me, do you guys like a full glam during the day or work? Or do you guys ever do full glam? Like when is it appropriate in your world to do a full glam? Me? I could do it any day of the week for real. Like there's no, I could, I could do a full, full glam anytime. Anytime. Okay. So you guys can't see this bronzer because my lights are just like beaming. The Lord Jesus could see me. Well, he always sees me, but you know what I'm saying? He could see me anyway. He sees me anyway. I'm missing all the, the comments just don't. Some I do full glam for the grocery. <laughs> you guys, I ever told you guys this. <laughs> One time I was using the ABH palette. I was filming, right? And <laughs> and look came out so good. I was using the prison palette. I remember this so clearly. It was raining outside and all of that, right? And it just came out. I was just so loving the look. It was raining. And it was just one of those times where I was like, oh, I gotta go. I went to the daggone grocery store. Just because I felt like the look had to be seen. And when I and I, and I got my, my, you know, my feet, because when I got to the grocery store, people were like, your makeup looks so nice. I was like, thank you. I was so excited. And then I came home and then washed it off. And washed it off. I did. Okay. So now I'm going to take my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Dreamsicle my favorite now okay i'm not gonna say that it's my favorite like okay so coconut is really my favorite but dream school has crept up like if i had to pick and choose between coconut and dream school i don't know like i can't like i can't i can't i can't it's just that's just hard to choose I can't. I can't. Even, I can't even answer my own question. So I'm gonna spray my face, and you, you gotta know that I spray my face before I do my highlight because when you spray your face first and you let it dry for a little while, just when it gets just uh, dry down just enough, you put your highlighter on and it just gives a great finish to no to no matter what highlighter you use. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so next time, I wish I could, like, I can't, I can't unscrew one of these, you know, to make this light less bright. Because I feel like I'm so washed out. When I'm looking at myself in the mirror in front of me, it's perfectly bronze and all that stuff. When I look in the camera, I look washed out. Like, I ain't got no makeup on or no bronzer. Okay. So I do want to try out a new product. Well, not a new product, just a product I haven't used. But I'm afraid. You know, I'm not going to do that because I don't know how it's going to look. I'm going to be too afraid to use this. So we'll just go in with, Mar uh, with Marilyn. We'll go in. You know what? Nope. You know what I want to use? I want to use Gilded Honey. I want to use something to stop my stash that I haven't used in a long time. Gilded Honey by Laura Gella Highlighter. I haven't touched this thing in forever, but I obviously hit pan, but I haven't used it in God knows when. And so I'm going to start doing some videos of Shop My Stash um, and all of that good stuff. And sometimes I really love to use a fi uh, dual fiber brush to do highlight it just softens it you know what i mean and just gives it just a really you know blended out look without like that strip i'll see you later lisa you have a great one darling you have a great saturday see this and this is just Oh my God, you guys can't see it, I don't think, but maybe you can. But this Laura Gellis came out, first came out, everybody was all over this highlight, right? And 
it is beautiful but on my skin tone it wasn't like it was like i felt like people were saying it was like oh my god theme into the gods and it's not not for me anyway not for my skin tone so but it's a perfect one for my skin tone in that it looks super natural and especially when you apply it with a dual fiber brush so there you have it boom I need this. I need to dig into my eyes. Hey, Venus, how are you? Ooh, we're just show. I'm just doing makeup of how I do it, how I've been doing it for work. That's not that glam. That's not Instagram eyebrows. When I first came on, when you watch the replay, people when they come in and watch the replay, they'll see I have I have full makeup on with Instagram brows and everything. So basically I filmed today, took off makeup on this live and put makeup right back on. Oh, that's Gerard Cosmetics uh, Dreamsicle. This is the best setting spray. But uh, they have, I don't know if you know, they have a lieu of scents on, hey Sherry, a lieu of scents on the website. So save yourself 30%, use code Marlo Keenan, honey. You know what? You know what, V? And okay, so you see this one, V? This is, uh, what is this one? The Sigma Dual Fiber F50, right? And was it, well, I don't think it was my last live, but it was maybe my last video or the live before that. Uh, Marlo Keenan, use code Marlo Keenan. Um, oh my God, Omaha Steak sent my quarantine friends a filet mint. Wow, that is nice of them. I used to order from Omaha Steaks. Um, I used to have a subscription. I'm not, that was like a long time ago though. Um, and so I was like, oh my God, I need to use, you know, this uh, fiber brush again because I forgot how just beautiful it makes your foundation look. Now, you can't use this, in my opinion, like with heavy foundations. Like you, you could use it. I could use it with my Born to Glow because it's more of a liquidy, watery foundation, but I'm not going to use it with my Juvia's Place. I'm not going to use it with my Juvia's Place because the Juvia's Place one is too heavy um, and it'll leave streaks. So, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so this is the part where you guys are probably going to crack up at me. I know. Sher Sherry, oh my God. You know it's in Georgia, right? We have outbreaks now in Georgia. A friend of mine on the south side. And so you guys know, well, maybe not all of you guys know, I do... Uh, I have clients that I work in hospitals in the greater Atlanta area, you know, uh, just all the hospitals. And I'm in and out of hospitals on a daily. And my uh, office has been very, very adamant about everybody wearing gloves, you know, washing your hands repeatedly, bringing your sanitizer. And I'm going to tell you, if that thing creeps up to Canton, where I usually am, Marla won't be going up there, okay? She'll be calling her clients on the phone. I'll tell you that right now because I got no time to be sick bad enough and it's, it's crazy and i'm not not to get into it into it but i don't like get colds or get sick or snoopy no you know fevers when i get sick i gotta go to the hospital like i'm, I'm sick sick <laughs> okay so i'm this is the shade savannah but this is not my correct shade my correct shade is um punta conda i think or something else i forget this is not the correct shade this is uh for um basically kind of like olive undertones but i make it work what i do is especially when i'm tan because i'm tan now and it does work but what i do is i mix in where is it this is a white foundation that lightens up foundations or transforms you know just the uh i don't want to say the tone of it but 
it does switch it where you can make it work. So I use this. I have to put a little dab in this now, especially because I'm not as tan as I usually am when I use this. But I tell you, I use this foundation all the time. I don't give a dag gone. If it's not my shape right now, I make it work, okay? Because that's what we do, right? That's what we do. You can make anything work. You fix it up with concealer or whatnot. But the reason why I love this foundation, let me tell you something. It photographs beautifully. It like this foundation, out of all my foundations, all my high-end foundations, I don't give a dag on high-end, low-end, middle-end, under-end, whatever. <laughs> this is the number one foundation that I have used thus far that photographs beautifully. Point blank in the period. And that's why I use it in my photos or when I'm doing YouTube or Instagram because like, Honey, I don't even be, or I, don't, I don't even know what, uh, what is it? Photoshop is, okay? I don't even have that. <laughs> don't need it. <laughs> it's great. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> name again, the name of what? The Juvia's Place? The Savannah. This is Savannah. This, the shade I have is Savannah, but it's not my correct shade. My correct shade, I think, is Punta Cana. I forget. It's only 16 bucks too. This foundation is only 16 bucks. So it's really good. So now, now what I'm going to do is my brows, guys. And I never do my brows on camera, lives, or anything. Okay, it might be, I have to look on the phone. It might not be Punta. It's one of the, it's, it's either Punta or the shade after Savannah or before Savannah. It's, it's, it's a warm shade. I just forget what it's called. Oh my God. Okay. So you already know that I had, I, I came on with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And the reason why I have is because my very good friend chat with Lou bought this palette for me because she knows I'm on a no buy. My birthday was in February. My birthday was February 1st and I celebrate my birthday all month long, Jessica. So like all month long, I'm one of those, I'm super extra. Let's not believe the hype. It is what it is, okay? I celebrate my birthday all month. I'm grown. I'm almost 50 years old, okay? So that that's how I'm living my life. <laughs> so Lou bought this palette because she knew I was on a no-buy. She knew that I would love it. And I was so pleasantly surprised that I opened up the mail a few weeks ago and this was, it was there. And I was like, girl, love her some Marlo, okay? <laughs> Call her my whippersnapper because she's, you know, half my age. <laughs> And so I call her another good friend of mine, my whippersnappers. And look how beautiful that is. And let me tell you, I don't want to spill the tea on everything because y'all got to see the video, but it don't matter. You guys are going to watch my video anyway, but there ain't nothing wrong with this daggone palette. There is nothing wrong with it. But I think in general, she's been getting good reviews anyway about the palette. So, to, you know, that's great. Um, so, but the palette is great. Absolutely great. Okay. So for my brows, right, I'm going to take the crown by Midas Cosmetics. Okay. You guys can save yourself 15% off if you want to go to that website. That code is just Marlo. <laughs> and, um, and this is literally what I've been doing for work. No Instagram brows, none of that. Oh my God, Michelle, it is so good. When I tell you the pigmentation is there, the pigmentation is there. Again, you will see, when you see my video, you, you, you will see some of the things that I said about certain things, but other than that, what, Marla, what was the bath name of the foundation? I'm confused. I'm not understanding the question, obviously. Come back and Chris, because I, I I must be missing something. I, I'm not understanding the question. So now you guys know that I've been watching me for a long time. I don't know eyebrows. Right, Michelle. I haven't neither. I mean, I know what I think people I have said. Let me tell you something. I even listed Jen Love's reviews because I, 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 I she the bomb. And she did a video and which I linked it in my video because I spoke about it. The only thing she said is that the formula from the OG palette, and I got both, okay? 
I bought the OG palette in its original form. Like I got it when it came out. Okay. She's saying that the OG palette formulation is different than if you bought this palette today. Okay. Meaning there's, there's three other different ingredients in the newer palette than there is in this one, because she was saying that people were telling her that the newer palette, well, well it's not new. It's just different packaging. The OG palette kind of got packaging like this. And she was saying the Juvia's Place Foundation is Savannah. The shade is Savannah. Savannah. And, um, that's what she was talking about. So I linked her video in my video because I spoke about it. Uh, but she wasn't saying nothing about this palette. She was just uh, saying the differences between the OG palette, if you would have bought it then 2017, than if you bought it now. Do I feel that sketchy? I don't, I, I, I don't know because they're saying that is not as good as the formula from the the first one. What she did confirm though is that Jaclyn Hill, this is her formula. Like her formula from the OG palette is strictly definitely her formula that she created with Morphe. Okay, so y'all know I don't have no brows. So I'm literally just filling in what I naturally have. Usually I don't fill in well, I, I know, Lee, right? Did you see me? I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, usually, listen, guys, I do the Instagram brow. That's my zhuzh. That's what I do. I cannot help it. I have no brows. You guys saw that first picture of me when I began this live. This is no comparison to that. And when I do it, I literally draw a line. I draw this and then I fill it in and then I conceal. I mean, I do the whole shebang. This is not going to be that. Me too. That's the look. When I came on this live just today, I have filmed it. But when I came on the live just now though, like I, I done already took off my lashes and all that. So you see, I'm literally just filling them in. I'm literally just filling in the natural, my natural brow, okay? Just give me a second, cause you know it's hard for me to talk when a girl is doing her brows. But you know what, even when I do them naturally like this, they still look good. I mean, I'm, I'm actually, now feeling and acknowledging that you know what I mean but it's nothing like an Instagram brow what did you buy uh Sherry hair right this this pencil is so small and so thin I love it but I also have one by Mac the only thing that I have curls with this one in the Mac one is just not black because I do my eyebrows black because my hair is black and I don't, you know, when people say you do it black, I'm like, it don't do, it don't look black as inappropriate black. I know how to shade it out and fade it out where it's not looking harsh. But I like black eyebrows, point blank in the period. Which one are you talking about, Michelle? Well, um, let me go back. I'm trying to figure out what eyebrow pencil you're using. The Urban Decay. Oh, the Urban Decay. Okay, I gotcha. I haven't used it. I know Sherry got that. I was just saying it just now. The Urban Brow Blade. Okay, yeah, Sherry got that. I don't know if she uses it that much or not. I haven't talked to... We haven't talked about what she's been using for eyebrows. I mean, I know what she uses for eyeliner. Point blank in the period. I have several eyeliners I use. And of course, every brow. And I even learned today that there were times when I would do my brows, right? And I'm like, one of my brows is higher than other. And so when I had all my makeup off this morning, when I was literally looking in the mirror, I was like, oh my God, my actual eyebrow point blank in a period, one of them is higher than the other. So it's not me the way I'm doing it in my technique is like my one of my eyebrows is literally higher than the other. 
I'm like, okay. So let me just, now typically, because I just want to bring this down a little bit. Okay. Like, look how thin my, like, I have no eyebrows, guys. None. <laughs> and now, typically, what I would also do at this point, but I'm not going to, but this is how I've been going to work, is I will fill it in with my MAC Black Carbon with an angle brush, and I will just brush it a little bit, but I'm not going to do that right now or anything like that because it's not that serious. But sometimes I will leave it just like this as is, simple makeup for work. Or sometimes I'll just fill it in with that black just because I just feel like it, you know. But it's not necessary is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. And if I want to make it a little thicker, I'll just go a little bit and pull some at the bottom right here like such. And so this is a real natural brow for me. For me, this is as natural as it gets because I straight up, no matter where, it's, it's always an Instagram brow. Okay. So now I'm going to take my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas and I'm going to set my eyelid. And I, this is all, watch, you guys are going to be like, oh, this is all you're putting on for makeup, for your eyes. This is all I'm doing. Watch. And I'm out the door. Obviously, it's taking me longer to actually complete the look because I'm on live and I'm talking to you guys. Blah, 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 blah. But what brush? Where's the brush? Where's the concealer brush that I want to use? Actually, I use like a little small, tiny, like uh, eyeshadow brush because I don't know. I just like to use this brush with this. Is this the one I usually use with? Because I have to use this. With the clean canvas. Because when I tell you guys, this clean canvas goes a long way. Like, I can't, I'm telling you, this is going to last me probably for six months to a year. <laughs> because I interchange it too, you know what I mean? But this is what it is. It's so pretty. The packaging is actually brand new for those of you who don't know. And this is the medium one. I think I already rubbed off. I've been using it so much. Yeah, it's a medium one. Okay. And look, this is the consistency of it. It's like really, it is just like a, it's like a crossbreed from a, like a thick, like a concealer and a base. It's just, it's not liquidy, liquidy. But it's not stiff, stiff neither. And a little look, I have to do this a cap because I, if I, I'll put too much on. It's just way too much. It goes a long way. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and look. I'm going to tap on both sides here and just spread it out. I like to press it right here. That's how I like to apply all my bases. Pressing it in, and then I'll bring it up. My skin in real life is looking so luminous, guys. So luminous. Now, I'm not going to set this. Well, actually, I kind of am in that I'm using an eyeshadow all over. So you could kind of say that I'm setting it. Okay. Let me get this other eye. See, I I feel like I look so, I'm so used to doing Instagram brows. When I don't do an Instagram brow, I feel like I look funny. Okay, so where is that? Uh, okay. I know you're going to be like, oh my goodness. So I'm taking my Lorac Pro and I'm usually using this as eye, like eyeshadow. 
I always tell people you don't have to, you know, makeup is universal. You don't, just because this is a bronzer kit doesn't mean that I can't use it as eyeshadow. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for just a natural everyday go to work look. I put a lot more on this eye than I did on this eye, as you guys can see. But that's okay. See if I could um, take some of it off. All right. Now I'm just going to take that and do an all over color. Where is my favorite brush that I like to do that with? Oh, here it is. All right. And I'm just going to. Do my all over color, all over the lid. This is gonna be a super easy look. This is my go to work, out the door look. I'm gonna put more on it because I'm gonna give it more definition, obviously, but it's so easy, guys. So easy. Does everybody on here like to work with color? Oh my goodness, what are you guys talking about? Okay, I'm missing stuff. Hey, hey, Sherry, dip brow. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow after work. Okay, wait, what are you going to go pick up? Are you talking about the Juvia's Place or the brow pencil? Hey, Sherry. Oh. <sighs> One or two, so I have to make accommodations for the asymmetry i'm queen of a natural brow <laughs> well well lee you got brows that's that's different you know you have brows marlo don't have brows so i just feel like i always but when when it comes together it comes together okay so now ladies and gentlemen you know what? I'm busting it out though. I'm gonna I'm I'm bust out the uh let's do the Jaclyn Hill palette. Because I'm only gonna do do one shade. Like I'm doing a contour around the eye, and that's it. And a shimmer. That's it. So we'll take this. Let's find the most neutralest color, lightest color possible in the palette. And that would be love handles and comfort zone. Love handles and comfort zone. And I'm just gonna mix these two together. Oh, you must be talking about the clean canvas. Wait, what it was asked? I don't know. I see, um, I don't know. I'm high yellow. It is what it is. I'm I, I'm a light skinned girl. Like in terms of being African American, I'm I'm on the lightest side, so. I, I, anything works for me to be honest. Well, not anything. Let me stop lying because that, that's a lie. I just lie to y'all. That's not true. Not anything works for me. I'm not that light. I look light right now. It's washed out. Okay, so I mixed those two shades together and look out. See, look at that. I went too ham. See, not that ham, but I didn't even want that much color. But that's okay. We're going to do it anyway. And this is all I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to put this in the crease as a, basically what I'm doing is trying to just give myself a contour of the eye. And then I'm going to throw a lash on with a bold lip and I'm going to put my hair in a cute ponytail and she's going to be so cute for every day. For every day. It's going to be so super cute without being super dramatic. I might put a little shimmer right here. Just a little bit. Okay. And that's it. I know, Michelle, I'm crazy. I mean, you have no idea. You need to watch my car rants. Michelle, have you ever seen one of my car rants? You need to go watch, and re watch some of those replays, honey. My car rants are where you really, where it's really comical. The car rants are super comical. 
my last car rant, well, you know, all my car rants is something that happens crazy. And I'm just like, okay, this is really happening. Okay, so this is what I don't like about this shade, about what I'm doing right now. Is because these tones are, what I mix together is way too peachy for me. And you guys know how I feel about peach and orange. So I got to go in with something darker. Honey, homeboy. Oh my gosh, she got a shake off homeboy on here. I didn't even notice that. Homeboy. Okay, homeboy. Okay, so this is blended. So I'm going to just deepen this up a little bit because I have to. I'm going to take my Morphe 433, but I'm telling you, I talk about this daggone Morphe 433 brush so much, people are going to think I, I work on Morphe, but I don't. What did I say I was going to take, guys? Homeboy. You know what? They're not really a really... Now that I'm looking at it, that's more orangey. <laughs> it's like an orangey brown. No, I need to draw for some from something else. I'm gonna use the OG palette. Boom. See? Find something in there for sure that's more brown girl friendly. I'm gonna take this girl here. This is in the shade Mocha. I'm gonna take Mocha. And that's what's gonna deepen up everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see that? A true brown. Put that in the outer corner and bring it up and that's it. And then put a little shimmer to the lid and I'm done. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> Sounds like I'm having a moment, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that. <laughs> I don't own none of Jaclyn Hill stuff, but I'm considering this palette. Lee, you should get what well, Lee. If you get this palette, Lee, you better use it because you know you call yourself a basic girl, and this got a lot of color on it. So if you get it, you need to use it because you're more of a neutral person, according to what you say, anyway. On these, on these lives. So if you don't like, you know what I mean. Because these are colorful and they're pigmented, guys. They're pigmented. You know? Especially if you use a packing brush. You guys will see my video when I had to switch my brushes. Because one of the shades that I used wasn't giving me the payoff that I needed. But that was not because of the shadow. It was because of the brush I was using. It was more fluffy. Um, which was my mistake. So, okay, so that is so simple. That's what I'm going to do. I got to flatten out my inners, my inner right there just a bit because my eye creases. I don't care what I use. My eyelid creases right there most of the time. Okay, but while I got that flattened out, I got to hurry up and take a shimmer, and take a brush and use one of these shimmers real quickly. I'll show you what I'm using in a minute. I just need to pick it up real fast and get it on there so my eyes don't crease. Okay. Let me show you what I picked up. I picked up this shade right here, which is faint right there. But I'm going to go into this one, which is Obsessed. And put that on the uh, inner corner. Bring it up of the crease a little bit. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Gosh, just a simple, just a simple everyday look, and and it's just like so freaking pretty. Oh, shut up. It's like these everyday simple looks look so pretty. You know, now if I had the, and I'm going to be honest, if I did this look and have my Instagram eyebrows on, and depending on what lip, it would be Instagram worthy. I would do, it would be Instagram. Hey, Lori, how are you? Hey, Mona. 
I'm sorry if I miss anybody coming in. Hey, Rhea, how are you? I have to go back all the time because my phone don't is like it doesn't populate as it is. Guys, why y'all on here? Let me know. Seriously, do these I cause I look so bronze in real life. Are these lights washing me out? Are they too bright? Let me know. I'm waiting for the answer too. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going in with that darker color again. And you know what's so funny? This palette still works beautifully. Uh, the OG palette by uh, Jacqueline. Oh, this is so pretty. So simple and so pretty. I I wish, you know, uh, I, and it's not like I don't have them. I do have nice, simple, everyday looks on my on my Instagram. But most of them, I'm not going to lie, they dramatic. They just, it is, just is what it is, okay? It just is what it is. So I, uh, and right now it's, it's hard for me for Instagram only because, you know, I have no time, but I hired somebody to take over my Instagram for me. So uh, I'm happy about that. I'm now paying somebody to post my stuff without me having to spend the time in doing it. So I'm happy about that, that that's freeing me up, you know, I mean, to do and complete other things. And not be just so concerned about it, you know what I mean? Be like, oh my God, I don't have time to post. I don't have time to this so I can stay more consistent. So I'd be posting twice a week on Instagram. You think the lighting is good? Okay. And I'll review it like once this. Um, okay, thank you, Jen. How did that work? How did what work, Lori? Are you talking about the palette? Because I did re I did film today the Jacqueline, the new Jacqueline palette. And before you say anything, Lori, I didn't buy it. My good friend Chat with Lou bought it for me because she knew it was my birthday. And plus, I'm on no buy for six months. Hiring somebody? Um, I just know somebody. I just knew somebody. That's all. I just I just knew somebody that would do it for me. It's a friend of mine that knows what they're doing. And so I hired her because, you know, hey, she needed a job and I needed somebody to do my Instagram. I knew what they were doing. Oh yeah. Like I do the, I do everything. Like I do, like I, I do my videos. I do the pictures. What I do is I send it to her and her job is to uh, do the caption, do the hashtags, post it, make sure she puts all the products in the description, tag the appropriate people. She has to do all of that. Like all I do is send her the photo. That's all I do. That's what I pay it for. <laughs> That's all I do. You send her the photo. And that's it. Mm-hmm. You sent and that and because that's all I got time for. That's the whole point of me, you know what I'm saying? So it just because I'm not, I wasn't I wasn't like really um consistent on my IG, like at all. Like I'll post every other week, I'll probably twice a month, girl. If that. You know what I mean? Because I'm just not, I just don't have time. My focus is my Instagram. I mean, my YouTube. It is. Even for my regular job, like even like for business in real life, uh, it's hard to, our businesses, it's hard to manage all social medias. If you have a LinkedIn, a Facebook, well, my company doesn't have an Instagram, but my, my company does have a um Oh my God, a LinkedIn and a Facebook. And we are, listen, my company, okay, is less than desirable when company, keeping it up, keeping up with Facebook, like in our stuff and posting on a regular. We don't even do, we don't even, I'm telling you, it's hard. And social media requires, I mean, it does, right? It just requires so much. Okay, so I'm going to put on the better than, ah, 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 about it. It's I. Right. Okay, I literally got to put three coats. If I wasn't wearing lashes, I got 
put coats of it to like show up. But it's good for me to just coat my lashes for lashes for me to, to prep for falsies. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. That's all that's the only reason, you know. Because when I get these in VoxyCharm and stuff, I use them. Except for the ones I totally hate. I don't dislike this mascara. I don't. I don't dislike it at all. It's just not my favorite. It's just not like, oh my God, you know, I got to write home about. So. All right. So now I'm going to put on a lash. Look, you could I you could tell I'm sweating. Look, look at my curls coming out because I'm perspiring. And everything else is flat iron, right? And look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, so what lashes should I wear? I should wear one of my um well, I don't want to put on brand new lashes. Oh, I'm gonna put on um <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I do. And she is like there because she's like my videos. Like, for instance, when I post my Jaclyn Hill video, I will send her the video and she will post it appropriately to Instagram on IGTV and make the necessary adjustments in editing. That, you know, what I mean, that that's what she will do. Okay, so I'm gonna do these. These are Huda. No, these aren't Huda. What are these? Um, crap. What are these? Lily lashes in Houston, which I like. They kind of remind me of honestly of the House of Lashes iconic. So let me put some glue on these bad boys. My base back. Clean as clean as we go. Hey Cassie, how are you? Oh yeah, uh, Rhea. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to um, you know, IG. And there was a time where I was posting on IG for at least once a week. But I have been so well, I've been having a lot going on in real life and really busy. And so uh, I, it's just taken aside. I mean, I'm consistent on YouTube, obviously, um, but the struggle is real, guys. I mean, it's hard to keep up with all this stuff. And where the doggone lash go? Oh, it fell. And so, yeah, this, this lash glue is just disrespectful. And what I mean by, I mean it in a good way. Like, it just like, and these are the lashes I wear to work because they're not so dramatic. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not putting on any liner, anything like that. Just going to go ahead. And throw these on straight up. Put that up. So yeah, it's just, this is such a simple look, guys. Such a pretty simple look. I need to put some highlight in my inner corner. Let me use Marilyn real quick. Marilyn, this is a uh, GC highlighter. I actually use Marilyn a lot for my inner corner on... Um, makeup like this that's why it's like sitting right here next to me because I use it mostly for my inner corner if I could find my I thought I gotta figure my oh here it is gosh can't even find my daggone brush oh yeah see it's like oh this is like perfect for my inner corner that's why I like it
just give it some brightness right there. Okay, so what do you guys got going on for the rest of the weekend? The Ball Brow Club? <laughs> What's that mean? Oh. No, I'm not even going to put in a ponytail. I, I need a brush to brush this down, but I don't have one. Okay, I'm just letting my what lippy should I do? Now, I typically do do a bold lip, lip because it's so, and I don't have any of my, um, I'm going to do a red. I'm going to go in with my, maybe I should do a, hold up. Yeah, we'll do a red. We'll do, we're going to do a Fenty. Uh -huh. Okay, you put me on the big screen. Thank you, Lee. Appreciate you, girl. But I think we're going to do this red. You can't see me. Can anybody else see me? <laughs> we're going to do the red. First, let's get the lashes on. And the lashes, as you will see, will transform this like simple look into just a nice, classy, low-key, no Instagram brow. Look, look at that. No Instagram brow. I feel like I should do something else besides this red, though. I don't know why. I'm going to do the red, though. Red is just red. Red is just freaking classic. It's been a little fuzzy on your side. Is your connection okay? Because my connection is 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 is, is strong. Ooh, trying to open up this door a little bit. Hey, Isa. Really? That is so weird, guys. I don't know. Maybe because I'm in my bedroom. I hope, you know what? I hope the Wi-Fi didn't kick into my other Wi-Fi because I have another, like the five gigahertz where it kicks off the 2.4. Okay, we're almost done though. Bear with me. Let's get this lash on. Look at that. Look at that. Lash, no lash. Respect, disrespectful. That's all it takes is a lash and a lippy to transform the whole freaking look. When you're not wearing a lot of makeup. Look at that. All right, boom. Let's get this uh, Fenty Beauty lippy on. Oh! Look at... I got to concentrate when I do lipstick, guys, because, you know, I got full lips, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, honey. Red lipstick, you got to get right. Oh my God. Like in real life, I feel I look 10 times better than on this camera. 
on this phone. Okay. I'm not gonna do nothing with this hair of mine. Just keep it. Ah, oh, I'm sweating, so it's curling up right there. All right, guys. This is it. Every day go to work. Oh, this lash, hold up. Okay, yes. Oh, I gotta catch up. Yes, it's cleared up. It's clear. Okay. Oh my God, yay, yay. Oh, thank you, Cassie. I really do love this uh, Fenty Beauty one as well i have a lot of favorite red lipsticks though but that's my top five um yeah so you know you know what my thing is where i always feel weird about is my eyebrows because i always always have the insta brow on and this is not an insta brow by any means it's just filled in my natural you know uh brow and I didn't, I, you know, I'm going to do it now, though, just to show you guys the difference when I actually just fill it in a little bit with my black because I have black hair. I feel like the eyebrows is just not giving me what I need in terms of the look when my hair is so, so black. That's why I have to get that pencil. I um I need to call Rocio because <laughs> I need that pencil in black. Okay, because typically what I will do is I will take my shadow by Matte Carbon and use one of these angle brushes like such and just gently fill it in just to make it darker, not, you know what I mean? And feather it out. See? You see how I was giving it more than that? And I didn't do much, just a little bit. It's so much better in real life. It's like this and it's like, oh. But there's a lot of times I don't do this, guys. There's a lot of times where I just, this is how I'm going to work because I'm going to work. I don't got no time, um, you know, and it is what it is. Right? Cassie, I was just saying that you know, today, and this, this has literally happened to me today where I just realized that when I was in the mirror, looking at myself per usual, <laughs> um, without no makeup, one of my, I noticed one of my eyebrows was higher than the other one. And I never noticed that before. I noticed that in the past in terms of when I was doing my eyebrows and my makeup, I would just be like, oh my God. I went up too high with one brow, and so I would conceal and do all this jazz just to try to make it even. But in actuality, one of my eyebrows literally sits more up than this eyebrow. So I'm like, I'm I'm grateful that it wasn't me. Like I was doing my eyebrows correctly the whole time, but it, at the same time, it's kind of annoying to know, you know. So. Now you see how it's a little bit darker. It's got, it matches my hair. It looks like my face, I feel looks more uniform because of just me darkening up my eyebrow because I have black hair. You know, again, people don't like to do the black, but I do. I feel like I know how to do it to the point where it's not like looking so super harsh. And I didn't even, I didn't even clean up my brows. Like when I do the Instagram brows, I'm like concealing. I'm making that sucker sharp. Like it is like sleek. But this is that really, really natural look with just me darkening up just a little bit. Oh, thank you, Lee. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Rhea. I'm trying to catch up. So, but you know what's aggravating me now? Talk about some edge control, like for real. <laughs> like, can I get some edge control? Can I get some edge control? Like, rem I remember back in the day, like when I was little, my mama, she used to make me so mad. She would be like, look at her, look at her daggone finger, putting it in my hair. And then if I had something on my face, she would lick her finger and be like this. And then I'd be smelling her breath for the whole day. Oh, 
Now that's disrespectful. Y'all remember that? Y'all mama didn't do that when y'all was little? Oh, my mama used to do that all the time. It was so disgusting. And I couldn't say nothing, you know what I mean? Because she's my mama. <laughs> like, you be like, Ma, like, really? My daddy ain't never do that. But my father was the guy who, like, because I, I am a daddy's girl. And, like, my, my, my daddy is 92 years old. He'll be 93 in April. Um, and he would just... He was always like grabbing on me, talking about, so I love you. You're so beautiful. You're so pretty. Listen, let me tell you something. It was my daddy. I feel growing up, everybody has, you know, self-esteem issues sometimes. It's that and the other when they're growing up. Everybody has issues, blah, blah, blah. But if it wasn't for my daddy because I was raised by a man predominantly, you know what I'm saying, who loved me and took care of me, like I never grew up insecure to the point where I felt that you know, like, I, I, I don't deserve to be loved by a man and all that jazz. I never felt that way. I never had that. And that was solely because of my daddy. I, listen to me. Like, when I talk about my father, it's like I'm 12 years old. Like, my daddy. Like, when I talk to him, I am 12 years old again. When I talk about him, I am 12 years old. I'm like my daddy. Even on Facebook, I have put on Facebook the other day because my sister wanted me to put his new address on Facebook before all the other relatives to know because... Uh, she's not on Facebook. And I was like, uh, for, for I, I said something for, in, in effect, that for all the family in Aunt Sonia, here's my daddy. Here's where you can find my daddy. Like, I literally put my daddy, D-A-D-D-Y. <laughs> like, I didn't put, oh, if you want to find JB, if you want to find my father, if you want to find my dad. I was like, my daddy. Because he my daddy. That man told me he loved me every single day. He will always, he always taught me, he was like, you grow up, you're going to grow up. He was like, you're going to be self-sufficient. He was always like, don't depend on nobody for a man, even though if you, I mean, my father was strictly old school with me, you know what I mean? Cause I think he just want, I don't even know how we got into this conversation, but what it is, what it is, but he wanted me to, you know, just grow up for, you know, especially cause I was a teenage mom and this, that, and the other, he just always said, he was like, you grow up, you finish school, you could do it. And I was able to do that. I mean, I had kids and I put myself through school, higher education, the whole nine. And if it wasn't for him, I feel like I definitely wouldn't be or the, the person I am today, you know, very independent, self-sufficient. And he didn't say don't depend on a man in a bad way at all. It wasn't like he was like, you know, ask you know it, it wasn't like that. He just wanted me to make sure that I was able to sustain my own my own self, make my own money, and just just be able to stand on my own two feet. And daggone it, that's exactly what my daddy got out of me. Oh my God. Okay, can I go around on something? Okay, I got to tell you guys something. I got to tell y'all something real quick. I got to tell y'all something real quick. I'm changing the subject again. Okay. This is my thing, okay? I was going to say this for a car rent. I might have already talked about it. So I have a friend that's on here right now. I'm not going to mention no names, okay? So we both, we all color our hair. I have mad grays, you know, I just colored my hair, this, that, and the other. I got to ask y'all a question. Do you guys get, when you guys color your hair, for the people who color their hair, do you guys get in the shower and, and, and rinse it off? Because let me, like, make it, because I, I, I can't do that. Like, I feel that hair dye is going to go on my crack. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do something to my hoo-ha. I got no time for my hair, my hair dye going in and, 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 and doing stuff to, to stuff. I, no. No. So, when I do my hair, I usually either what rinse it out in the sink if I'm coloring it, or... If I get in the shower, I put on a, I got a tank top on and some panties. I take a shower with panties and rinse my hair because I ain't got no time. <laughs> Your hoo ha going to be colored black because I got black hair. I don't want my. But I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to say who it is on here that does that. That will go straight up in the shower and rinse out her hair. And and like if, if you did that, you would have to be in the shower, right? With a shower head, right? And like be hunched back like this. 
and go like that so it don't touch your crack. I can't do it. I just find that just totally weird. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love, listen, I love the person who I'm talking about too. This is no shade. So purple shampoo. So you're so Cassie. So so I'm Cassie. Do you get in the shower? Is your is, is the purple dye going in and it just? Oh, I can't do it. I'd be scared, guys. I'm just scared. That's all. It's it's a it's just a total fear. I'm just like I cannot. Like, <sighs> I just feel like it's gonna run down in the wrong places and like burn me or something. It's hair color for heaven's sakes. Like I really feel like it'll burn me or something. I'm just afraid of that. And plus I color my hair black. I don't want everything down there to turn blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, towel. So, oh, Jerry, you're talking about it? I do. Oh, oh, so she's saying she talks so much trash because she loves the hell out of you. Of course. How you know I ain't talking about Sherry? See, Sherry, she, y'all, you see, y'all having the conversation on your own. Oh, Sherry, don't even, did you just say you would think, oh, shame on you, Sherry, for saying something like that. You know you're my bestie. I love you. Don't be saying that. That's not nice. Why you won't bend for to rinse it, Marlo? What you mean? Okay, you guys are having your own conversation. I rinsed out here. Die. Listen, I understand that. Don't judge me because I have a fear of it. I'm the one with the fear. You guys should be nurturing me. Saying, Marlo, you are thinking irrationally. That's what you guys need to say to me. <laughs> because I know it's an irrational fear that I'm going to burn my hoo-ha. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> My phone is on like how many percent? It's on 11 percent. Well, you take care, Cassie. I'm about to get off here anyway. But anyway, simple, nice, cool, everyday. <laughs> Lori, I'd be scared. Lori, I'd be scared. I'd be scared. <laughs> Okay, we jumped from like me talking about my dad to rinsing out my hair in the shower. Okay. Anyway, I have I always have fun with you guys. I love you guys so much. I do. And that's what one of the things I think we talked about that in my last live was that how, you know, when I was talking about the mature skin and how people blah blah. <gasps> The many chemicals and hope. See, y'all, y'all doing the most now. <laughs> and I think we talked about it before, where it's so much fun to be able to come on live and for people to come and enjoy themselves and and talk. And everybody just having and it's all in fun and, and good times, you know. As long as you guys that with wrenches, make sure you guys keep the trolls out. <laughs> We're good to go because <laughs> I can't keep up with the trolls. So, who do you, you guys are must be having a, your own conversation because I don't know what she's saying good Lord about now. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, thank you for coming. And yes, I'm about to get off. You just asked me if I'm about to get off, but I am. I am going to take my makeup off again. 
Oh, I said, thank you. You are amazing. I'm so glad you were able to make it. This was a fun Saturday night. You guys are amazing. Oh, yeah, Michelle. Yeah, you can make good friends. Make sure you guys follow everybody, too. I think everybody, ha not everybody has channels on here, but Lori is on here. Michelle has a channel. Sherry Ward has a channel. Obviously, Jen Gerard has a channel. I don't know who else was on here with a channel. Cassie. So go ahead, check out everybody. If you like, you know, go and follow and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for uh, watching me take my makeup off, my original makeup off, and then put it on this everyday work makeup that I've been kind of doing for the week at work, especially the base, more so the base, you know, and the simple eye and all that stuff. It's so simple. I think anything that you do that's a simple eye look with some lashes and a bow lip doesn't necessarily have to be red. You're good to go and you're glam, point blank in a period. So I always try to emphasize that because I think people be like, oh, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time for work. I don't have time for makeup. And they really want to do makeup, but you really do. Oh, okay. Subscribe to Lori. Great, great. So as you guys know, here comes my regular outro. Thank you so much for joining. I love you guys so much. And until my next live, y'all, bye-bye now.